reminded me of uh, within my spirit when I sat on my bed and I was reflecting on some things um, that have been going on in my life and the Holy Spirit just started to speak to me and I wanted to share that testimony with you all just to come on here to encourage you and um, I hope you'll be blessed by this message because I was definitely um, truly blessed in Jesus name so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get into the testimony really quickly so as I was sitting on my bed, um, I started to think about um, my relationships and some decisions and just some choices that I have made. Um, today is my birthday and I guess that's what, why I was in a place of reflecting on um, where my life is because you know I'm going into a new year, I want to do things different and I want to be the best version of myself and do all that God has called me to do and be more intentional about my life and not waste any time. And Something the Holy Spirit brought to my attention was about some of the relationships that I have in my life. And one of them was with my aunt. And me and my aunt, we have been estranged for a few years. My aunt, I was always able to go to her house. I was always able to, uh, she created a safe space where we were just able to talk about a lot of things that I was feeling, a lot of things that I was going through. I was always able to go to her and release that to her. And my grandmother was one of those people, but she passed away in December. And so with my aunt, um, the reason we started to drift apart wasn't because something that she did. It was more um, the Holy Spirit um, showed me, which I had to repent of, but it was more my part because I started partying. I started hanging out with friends. I started doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. And so that's what drifted me away from her. And it wasn't just for one year, it wasn't just for two years. It was at least up to five to six years that I haven't spoken to her. Um, just completely stopped talking to her, checking up on her, you know, just those little things. And so as time went by and um, I continued to go on, I started to feel shame. I started to feel condemned. I started to feel like I can't go back and talk to her because I haven't spoken to her in so long that she's upset with me, that she doesn't want to hear from me. And um, those are just feelings and stuff that I started to tell myself, I started to hear myself, the enemy started to speak into my mind. And so the Holy Spirit reminded me and started to show me all those different pictures and those things in my mind and I just started to repent I have to, to say God forgive me forgive me of my part uh, where I neglected the relationship forgive me for my selfishness forgive me for con condemning myself because there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus and I'm bringing this up because the way it relates to God and his relationship with us is um, let me read it directly the way I wrote it in my journal because to me the way I wrote it down the way I remembered it it was just so, so perfect. There, I'm sorry, my door was just all over the place, but I said, the Holy Spirit revealed to me uh, this situation, that sin, unforgiveness, pride, selfishness, condemnation, shame, guilt, it all keeps us from having an intimate relationship with God and the people that God placed in our lives. The scripture tells us that there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So if you're a child of God, I want you to know today that there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. There is nothing uh, that you can do to separate you from the love of God. And I am a, lo I'm a child of God, says in 1 Peter um, Peter's chapter 5, verse 7. It says, cast all your cares on him because he cares for us. Um, family. The devil wants to separate us from our families. The devil wants to separate us from our friends. Uh, the devil wants to cause us to miss out all the blessing that God has for us. So even the blessings that God has given us to bless others with that are connected to us, that are in our lives, they don't get to receive the, maybe the blessings in that moment because we neglect to do our part. We pull ourselves away. Hallelujah. So I just thank the Holy Spirit for bringing that up to me. And then also, um, in that moment, God humbled me and it was, when he humbled me in that situation, it was done openly. Um, I'll tell you how me and my aunt reconnected. My grandmother passed away and went on to glory on December 17, 2023, this year. 
And at the, my aunt was at the funeral. And so when she was there, her daughter came up to me, my cousin Tracy, and she hugged me. She's like, mommy's over there, go say hi. And I said to her, I can't, I can't go over there and say hi because I'm, you know, I haven't seen her in so while. I feel like she's mad at me. I'm scared. I'm nervous. You know what I mean? And God says, I haven't given you a spirit of fear, but I've given you a spirit of love and a sound mind. So that spirit of fear that was holding me, separating me, um, from having that relationship with my aunt or just being fearful of what I thought she felt towards me, condemning myself, it kept me from going to her. It kept me from having that relationship with her and staying connected with her. And she just reassured me. She was like, no, mommy's not mad at me. She loves you, Mika. Go and talk to her. And I humbled myself and I just stepped out of faith and I went over there and I had a conversation with my aunt. And she immediately embraced me. She immediately loved on me. She loved on my children. And I just started to weep. I started to cry because I just started to feel in the spirit a break. I felt a, I felt a relief in the spirit. I felt set free, hallelujah. And I just felt for, forgiveness um, for um, myself because I just didn't forgive myself for it. And all those feelings of condemnation, fear, shame, guilt, uh, sadness, lack of peace in that area and that relationship it all started god cast it out of me in that moment i was instantly delivered so i thank god for that and i want you to know today i wrote it down god is a restorer the mender of broken pieces so god is going to restore and mend every broken relationship in your lives and your families but you have to humble yourself and be obedient when the whole spirit holy spirit um starts to uh remind you of things and um remind you of uncompressed sin. Do you want to humble yourself and go before God and say, God, take this out of me. God, deliver me from this. If this is hindering me from building other relationships in my life or growing in my relationships, God, I need you to fix this. And that's where I was in my life. That's where I was in that moment. And the peace of God just started to endow me. And I was just so good. And I, I looked up the word condemned because I wanted to know I wanted you to know, and I wanted to know, like, how serious it is when you condemn yourself. And the word condemn, condemn means to be guilty, to sentence, to punish, to punish, or to pass judgment against. Find fault, blame. Satan is, Satan is the condemn, the one who condemned. He is the accuser of the virgin, you and I. And so what I did to myself, uh, I was punishing myself. I was passing judgment on myself, passing judgment on my aunt. I was finding fault and blame and every reason not to go and humble myself and make things right in that relationship. So um, that's what I was doing. So I know so many of us, I wrote all this down guys because I'm telling you, when the Holy Spirit starts to speak to me, I get my pen and my paper and I just start to write in. So I know so many of us have done things, um, we've gotten caught up in things or situations, but today, in Philippians 4 and 6, hallelujah, pray, the Bible says to pray about everything, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about every single thing. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. So I just thank God for what He has done in that situation. I thank you for fixing it. Now I have conversations with my aunt. We've spoken two times so far and we're going to continue to do so and I'm going to do my part and also reach out as well because I love her. I love her. And she's always been a blessing in my life and my children and my life. And, you know, this this is just, I just give God glory. And then another um, scripture I have that you guys can meditate and read on is Psalms 100, Psalms 13, 9 and 6. It says, proclaim that all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. So God knew everything that's going to take place in our lives. God knew what was going to happen in that situation, in those moments, in all of your relationships. He says, cast his cares onto him. So surrender your relationship to him. Surrender everything in your life to him. And God is going to fix it as long as you're obedient and humble yourself and you're willing and you want to do it. Because God is not going to go against your will. You have to be willing. And God's word says that he is willing. He's a good God. Hallelujah. And then another thing, God knows everything about you. He is our creator. He is our father. Uh, the scripture tells us that nothing can separate us from the love of God. And that is found in Romans 8, 31 and 39. So I've come here today to say, get out of your own way. Let God have his way in your life and in your relationships because he loves you. Hallelujah. And then I just also want to say, 
um, a prayer um, before we end this video uh, because we're at the end and like I said here on this channel we pray I want God to bless you as he has blessed me and this is a prayer that he put in my heart and I know that this prayer is definitely going to be a blessing to everybody else so Father in heaven creator of all things in heaven and in earth the great I am, I thank you for your goodness and your mercy towards us today. Father, I ask that you will touch and you will mend every broken relationship. Father, I ask that wherever there is bitterness in any relationship, Father God, hallelujah, that you will bring love, hallelujah, in their lives, in your people, even in broken relationships or relationships we don't know that are going to be broken or be, a be affected by our results and our own actions, Father. Hallelujah. With you, Father God, we have love, we have everlasting love, and nothing can separate us from you, Father. We thank you for that promise, God. Hallelujah. That can never be broken. Hallelujah. Father, Lord in heaven, I ask that you will re re that you will release, that you will restore, Father, in every area of our lives. And all those who we love and who love us and those that watch this video that you have been healing to every relationship in their lives. Hallelujah. Father, as we abide in you, your word says that you would abide in us, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that we can come to you about anything. Hallelujah. And everything, Father, because you are faithful and you are just, Father. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Father, for forgiving us and having mercy on our situations, giving us grace in our situations. In Jesus' name, we just ask for grace to correct what is wrong in our lives and to live in peace with all people. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for your grace and your mercy towards us. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you. So, I just bless you all in the name of Jesus. I thank you guys for watching. And this was my testimony specifically on just relationships. So, um, I'm going to continue to seek the Holy Spirit and ask Him for direction on how to fix all the other broken relationships in my life. Uh, because I don't want to miss out any... I don't want to miss out any more on what God has for me because God is too good. I want to walk into the destiny and I want to grab hold of everything that he says that I can have. So be blessed. I love you with the love of Christ and shalom.